Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. On my channel, we talk about fragrances, fragrance update, releases, and news, and we do free fragrance giveaways. If this information is helpful to you and you like fragrances, and you've been watching my video over and over again and haven't subscribed yet, why not be kind to your support by clicking that red subscribe button on the bottom of the screen and take it one step further by clicking the bell icon to notify when I upload new fragrance videos or free fragrance giveaways, you'll be first in line. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before this video starts, what's your sign of the day? Please leave a comment down below. This video here is going to be just my own personal fragrance that I really enjoy a lot. I own all these fragrances. These companies never paid me to advertise their fragrances at all. So keep that in mind. I paid my hard-earned money from working for all four of these fragrances. So I'm going to go over each one of them, the price point, projection, longevity, and no breakdown, and tell you which order I feel they should be king. So, before this video starts, whatever fragrance you think is great, leave a comment down below, first, second, third, and fourth. I don't want to argue, these are my own personal fragrances, so let's get with the video. The first one we'll talk about is Blue de Chanel Parfum. This is the 2018 release, and the notes we have in this fragrance here, we have our citrus, lavender, we have cedar wood, we have galvanum, we have sandalwood. So this fragrance here, you're looking at about $120.00. For uh, 50 mil, and this is the uh, 100 mil bottle for 150 dollars. Chanel are very hard to get discounted, so pretty much you're gonna have to pay for retail for it. The distribution is really good. You can see the distribution shoots out a lot, and it's a magnetic cap. So nothing wrong with that magnetic cap. This is Blue Day Chanel Parfum. Now this one here, projection-wise, you're gonna get about a good two hours of projection. Um, some people say it's close to the skin. It's pretty good on me. People around me get whiffs of it. They said it's really nice and heavy, so no complaints. Longevity, I'm getting well over eight hours. I have no complaints with this one. This one lasts longer than the, the EDP off my skin. So, Blue Day Chanel Parfum. Now we're going to talk about the new 2019 release. It is Dolce Gabbana K. Dolce Gabbana K, 2019 release. This one here is $94. 400 mil, this size here, I'm sorry, is $72 for a 50 mil. I got this on sale with a gift card I got. I said that in a previous video, if you want to check that video out. Um, the notes here, we have Sicilian, lemon, blood orange, we have patchouli, juniper berries, we have vetiver, petite and we have sandalwood. So, this fragrance here, this is a 2019 release. This one opens up fresh and clean. Distribution is really good. Atomar is good. People are tacky making fun of the cap, but it's a different cap. They're trying to do a different direction. I give hats off to Dolce Gabbana for trying something different. Is the fragrance different? Well, check that out in my full review. Anyway, this is Dolce Gabbana K, and yeah, I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over some more notes soon. So Dolce Gabbana K. Okay, now we're gonna jump into the up uh, number three, Dior Sauvage EDT. Dior Sauvage EDT. Now this one here, it's $77 to $95. This is a 50 mil and I do have a 100 mil. You can get most of these fragrances on the discount markets. Not all of them, but I'll leave links down below. This has been out for a couple years. This is a 2015 release. Okay, this has notes of bergamot, ambroxan, uh, geranium, uh, pepper, lavender, uh, Vetiver and patchouli. So we know about your Sauvage. We know about this fragrance. It's the love and hate fragrance in the fragrance community. Enough said. I have great stories about this. You guys know about how I feel about your Sauvage. EDT and the Auto Parfum, but not the Parfum. And the last one on the list here we have is Creed Aventus. Yeah, I have a Creed Aventus in my collection. Creed Aventus Cologne. The 2019 release. This one here... I enjoy it a lot. This one is another fresh and clean fragrance. I do get that hints of the mint. I do get some of the, the birch. I get the must in this fragrance. It's a citrus mandarin opening fragrance. I really enjoy this one a lot. Now, this is a pricey fragrance. Look at $320. $325 for this 50 mil and 100 mil. You're looking at about $435. You can get 100 mil for about, I think, $270, $280 on fragrance. Now, leave a link down below if they have any left. It is getting discounted very really soon. I know some people say they don't really enjoy it. Nevertheless, I have it in my collection. I enjoy this one. Create Aventus Cologne and Projection. I get about a good six hours on my skin, which isn't bad. And uh, Projection, I get about an hour after that. It's kind of closer to the skin. Okay, so now we're going to go over which one you feel is best. Now, if we're talking about price point in these fragrance, specifically on a 
price budget wise, if you're going to go the full retail route, pretty much this is going to be the cheapest you're going to get. Those you get by NK, the cheapest, right? Looking at $72 for this bottle right here. Now I'm saying this as a this is a price point wise for all these fragrances. This is the cheapest you're gonna get. Dolce Gabbana K. The second to that fragrance would be Dior Sauvage EDT. Second to lowest price range. Third, you know, it's gonna be Blue Day Chanel Parfum. And the highest on the list, we know this is gonna be Aventus, Creed Aventus Cologne, the highest on the list. So, pretty much the first battle win goes to Dolce Gabbana K. Now we're going to go over uh, the projection category. Projection category. Now let's talk about projection. If you're talking about the one that has the best projection out of all of them, your Sauvage EDT. Now I tried all these fragrances. They do have projection, but it's not beast mode. This the one is really heavy beast mode on my skin. I know people say they reformulated. I do not have a new formulation. I have this is an older one, but it works on my skin. I'm happy with it. I have no complaints. This is the Beast Mode one on my skin, and this is the loudest. So Beast Mode goes to Dior Sauvage EDT. Now we're gonna talk about longevity as point. This is where it's gonna get really tight because it's gonna be two fragrances. It's gonna be Dior Sauvage EDT, and it's going to be Blue de Chanel Parfum. These are both fragrances that are gonna get you through the workday, eight hours plus. So it's going to be a tie between these two fragrances. Now, we're going to talk about seasons and occasion. Now, all these fragrances you can wear in the spring, the summer, the fall. So, for instance, if you want to wear Creed Aventus, Creed Aventus Cologne, I'm sorry, you can wear this spring, summer, or fall. If you want to wear your Sauvage EDT, you can wear it spring, summer, fall. Same thing goes for Dolce Gabbana K. Same thing goes for Blue Day Chanel Parfum. Now the difference is going to pretend on your skin chemistry because it might last longer, it might last lesser. Okay, let's talk about the compliment factor. Everybody wants to buy these comps and comps from girls, guys. You, you want the compliments from the people, I get it. We get right into it. All from my experience wearing all these fragrances. The highest compliments I've got were fragrances from this one, Dior Sauvage EDT. And all the compliments from Blue Day Chanel Parfum. I got two comp from Blue Day Chanel Parfum, and I got about a good eight to six compliments with Dior Sauvage EDT. Now, if you're gonna, now people are gonna ask me if you're on a budget, what you should get. Wise, if you want a beast mode or you want, you know, if you just want a simple fragrance. If you're new to the fragrance game and you just want a fragrance that is mass appealing, gets compliments. And you know, you want to smell like other people, well, you're going to probably get Dior Sauvage EDT or you're probably going to get Blue Day Chanel Parfum. These are both for sex appeal, mass appeal fragrances. The girls do like them. Either the girls love this one or they love this one. So these are the two you're looking for mass appeal, sex fragrances, these two. Hands down. These two are versatile too. The best you can get right now at Macy's. And these are under the $100 mark. Well, this is about $120, I apologize, $150. And this here is under the $100 mark on discounters and at Macy's. Okay. Now, how do you guys feel about the Fragrance Legend? Please leave a comment down below which one you, you guys think is best. Now I'm going to give you my order of these fragrances. So if you don't like this order, please don't shoot me. I'm just giving you my own personal opinion. Don't leave me hate. I know there's going to be a bunch of dis dislikes if you don't like my order. Is what it is, but come on, just keep it friendly. Okay, so we're going to start off from least to my number one favorite. So let's go to my number four. My number four Dolce Gabbana K. It's just, it's a simple, it's a fresh, it's a clean fragrance. It's nothing special. It's nothing that's going to wow the ladies. It's not going to be like, oh my God, you're wearing the best fragrance in the world. No. It's a safe, a fresh, clean fragrance. If you're new to the fragrance game, you got 70 bucks you want to spend for a fragrance and see if you even like wearing fragrances. Dolce Gabbana K is my number four least king fragrance. Okay. My number three is going to be Blue Day Chanel Parfum. This is my number three king fragrance because it is a good fragrance. It's very high and expensive on the list. And I've had the other Blue Day Chanel, so I'm familiar with the, the notes of Blue Day Chanel. And sometimes people do get tired of Blue Day Chanel. I get it, it's been around for a while. It is a rich and a great fragrance and I do happy to have it in my collection, the, the Parfum, because it lasts. But it's not my king on my list. So Blue Day Chanel Parfum 
is my number three on my least king favorite list. Okay, my number two is going to be Creed Aventus Cologne. This is my number three. Well, my number two, I apologize, because this one here is good. The price point is the point that people are not going to want to buy it. $325 for the fragrance. Is it worth it? Well, that decides you as a consumer buying this fragrance or a fragrance fanatic or a nut, whatever you want to call yourself, fragrances. It's going to depend on you. I enjoy this fragrance. I have it in my collection point. I've tried this out at the release party before it was released, you know, which is awesome. I was invited to the Creed uh, event, this kind of party they had there, and I sprayed it, and I really enjoyed it. I'm happy I had this in my collection. Maybe I buy a bigger bottle because they do have a discounter now. I enjoy this one a lot. The reason why it's going to be my number two because the price point and the longevity isn't the best. You got to reply, reply this halfway through the day and it's a lot of money to reapply this fragrance. Even on discounters, it's like $260, $270. So this is my number two, King Fragrance. My number one is a fragrance I talked about all the time in my community. You guys know about it by now. I've been doing reviews for about two, two and a half years now. It's no other than... Dior Sauvage EDT. Dior Sauvage EDT. I met my girlfriend wearing this fragrance. I wear it as a dumb reach. People just enjoy this. Every time I wear this fragrance, somebody says, oh, you smell nice. You smell fresh. You smell clean. I really enjoy that fragrance off of you. Every time you see me, say, oh, you're wearing Dior Sauvage. I remember you talked about the last time. It's, it smells very nice. I got to get this for my boyfriend or the other girls. I got to get this for my husband. I always get positive with this fragrance. I haven't got any negative feedback with this fragrance. Well, Knock on my hand instead of wood. Hopefully this doesn't give me any negative comments. But so far it's been positive, And I enjoy this. This is my number one king. Your Sauvage DT. Now everybody's going to say the love, the hate, whatever. This is going to be my number one king fragrance. I love all my fragrances. Tens, I bought all these fragrances. These fragrances cost a good bit of money. A couple paychecks down the drain. But at the end of the day, I love these fragrances. I wouldn't trade them in for the world. Now ladies and gentlemen, what are your top four king fragrance whether designer or niche please leave a comment down below to get a conversation started if you want to dislike the video don't dislike because you don't like my my list dislike it maybe because you just don't like my videos whatever so thanks for watching this fragrance video ladies and gentlemen if you're new to my channel you like fragrances free fragrance giveaways and you just like fragrance talk and you just enjoy me making videos all the time why don't you click that right subscribe button and leave a comment down below and click the bell icon more fragrance videos to come, and I'm happy to make fragrance videos for all you guys out, ladies and gentlemen. So until my next video, it's going to come really soon. Bye.